So now we'll finish this wrap lab up with a fillet and a chamfer. First I'm going to hide this plain one because I don't need it anymore. I'll right click on it and go to the hide icon. Then I'm going to go up to the fillet feature option because I am in my 3D model. I'm not in a sketch so it's perfectly reasonable to use the fillet feature. I'm going to set my fillet to 0.02. For my first face, or for my first selection, I'll select the inside face here to collect all of those edges on the inside face of the wrap cut that I just made. Then I'll select one of the edges on the upper part. And then also I'll select in my automatic smart fillet option, the left loop to collect all the other eight edges, just because sometimes it doesn't fill it all the way around the loop so I'll make sure it does with this option and do the same thing for the other for the other side so I'm going to select one of these edges and you can see that it's not filling all the way around the the tangency so I'll use the smart option to select the loop of eight edges to get all of those and that's it for the fillets Now I don't think we've done a chamfer feature yet as a class. So I want to introduce that right now if I haven't already. So the, the chamfer feature is right, uh, right underneath the fillet feature. It's been right on, under our nose this whole time. If you click the down arrow of fillet, you'll see chamfer. And then you get a property dialog box just like the fillet feature does. There's items to chamfer our preview options and then our size options with also an angle option. So I'm, I'm going to set the size option to 0 0.07 and I'm going to leave the angle at 45 degrees because this is a very common chamfer angle for manufactured parts. Then I'm going to click as if I was adding fillet features. I'll click this face to put a chamfer all around that edge. And I'll click this face to put a chamfer all around that edge. And I can see a fillet, or I can see a preview. Sorry about that. I can see a preview just like if I was using the fillet feature option. So I'll confirm this and take in my new chamfers. Pretty awesome. I'm going to set our material to plain carbon steel. And there it is. Just so that you all know that this part here, this is a cylindrical cam. This is probably something that would be used to transfer motion in like in something like a sewing machine. It would take the rotational energy from the sewing machine motor and, and transfer it into a linear up and down motion. But anyways, now that we're done with this lab, let's check our mass, see if we're correct or see if we're on the money. So the mass that I got was 1.3909. This is on my laptop. I also modeled this on the instructor computer though as well in class. And I came up with 1.3909 there as well. So you all should get this 